Hello and welcome back to Lord of the Rings Realms in Exile. I'm feeling good. It took 16 episodes, but my brother Sigur the Strong killed the Balrog. But it's time for me doing Long Shanks of Khazad-dûm to ascend to the throne of Durin's Hall and lead the dwarves of Moria back to their old glory and richness and power. And also we got to do with Mordor. Let's not forget about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our character. Uh, so we are diligent. Doing does not shy away from hard work. We are honest. Doing values truth and sincerity highly. And he's also humble. Doing does not ask for much in life. We are an astute intellectual, a wise man, a herbalist, a scholar, a theologian, a miner, consecrated blood, athletic, scarred, valued administrative courtier and a confider quite a lot of traits already we're 69 years of age nice one more year and then we can marry as well and hopefully have children also validar again <laughs> I, I i can't thank you enough honestly did confirm confirm that it's pretty much hard coded for dwarves to have three children but if they have an empire title i think it goes up to four he said um and then fertility and things can affect this um, so that's why we keep having free children. Right, let's sort out the pinned list. I don't need my myself, my brothers, and my sisters up here. It's time for us to start a new family. Let us check our memories before we move on. View kills. I executed a builder because he served the Balrog. That is acceptable. That's more than acceptable. In fact, we might need to root out the dwarves that are still alive serving the Balrog. In case they ever bring it back. That's going to be one of the things we do. But before that, let's go ahead and look at our memories. Quite a few. So my mother died in childbirth. My grandmother was murdered. I developed few romantic feelings. But Mirofnitnir, she's actually died from being ill, unfortunately. Okay. My guardian, Amrith. Let's not forget Amrith. A big character in our story as well. Um, I don't know what happened to her, though. But she's a, a lunatic and possessed now. So guys... I think we should move on from Amrith. <laughs> Let's remember the good times whilst they lasted. Uh, I became the ruler of the delving of Duflumru Agar. I became friends with Moonin, who is also dead. Flagellated herself to death. Bloody hell. My father, Foreign, was slain by Durin's Bane. My brother, Eskar, was burned to death from the Balrog. My uncle died in his sleep. My grandmother tripped and fell to her death. I then became friends with an egg. So that's good. He's still alive, actually. Uh, my friend Moonin flagellated herself to death as well. Bloody hell. I fell in love with Mjofnidnir. Uh, then we broke up because she probably died. I became the ruler of the mines of Caradress. And Uthral Nula and Sigindum. A peasant revolt led by Bidda rose up against me. I commanded and won battle against him. So I was victorious there. Yeah, we, we were victorious in the peasant revolt. Uh, Bidder is dead. Oh, that's who I executed. Yes, yes. I remember now. My brother Sigur was slain by Durin's Bane. But remember, he did kill him. And then I became the ruler of khazad And thus my story continues. Right. We could continue going down the learning tree so we can get whole of body. Get some health boosts and whatnot. We already have so much stuff. What's this? Zealot vassal opinion. Religious relations efficiency. Monthly piety from buildings. Level of devotion impact. Convert faith in county is faster, which is nice. Um, let's see. Convert faith in county. The time it takes to convert a county is no longer increased. That faith is, has higher fervor. Okay. Monthly piety per night is up. Prowess per level of devotion. That's nice. And of course, we are a theologian. More learning and monthly piety. What do we get here? Cultural fascination progress. Increased development in county efficiency. We might start doing that, actually. Because now we're in a stage where we can build up. I think getting the development up in the mines will be the most important. Let's absolutely make some money. Uh, your wards can get additional skills and become my friends. Different cultural opinion, cultural acceptance is up. I can learn more languages. We should do that as well. Different faith opinion. Conversion cost is cheaper. I don't think we're going to convert the faith. Because uh, I, I'm going to keep the Khazad faith. I, it, it's, it's part of the law. And I don't think changing faith is... Uh, is within our law like we, we've stayed so loyal to the kazad faith with all our characters my fathers and whatnot so we're gonna stick with it i can use by claim interactions and we're a scholar 
So hostile scheme success chance and personal scheme success chance goes up. But so does development growth. And we have anatomical studies. So a court physician costs less to hire. And treatments have better outcomes. Aren't we a minor as well? But, but we don't have any of this stuff. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for the learning tree first. Let's get development growth plus 15% as well as another plus free learning. That's going to be huge. In fact, I even have a perk. Should we learn how to wash our hands? <laughs> Stress gain minus 20%. Let's take that. Although there's no barrel rugs. So I don't know how. I mean, we are actually already stressed. So it might be useful. We do have a magnificent crown. Oh, I don't need. Oh, I hate. Why did I repair that when I have the Durin's helm? Yeah, that was stupid of me. That's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll just have to wait. Right, Lawmaster. Uh, you are the best one we have. I need the best steward I can get. Foran, my uncle. You shall become steward of Khazad-dûm. Are you my best chancellor? Yes. What about Marshal? Alwis the Brave. 33 Marshal. Welcome in, lad. Welcome in. Do I also... What am I checking for here? Um, Control. That's what I was about to check. Yeah, control is fine. So I shall continue training the commanders. We are over a domain limit, so we're going to have to fix this. I need a worthy successor. Wait, oh, the accolades changed. Wait, no, no, no. What, what happened? We got the Chosen of Balin and the Bastion of Khazad Doom. What, what, what was here? Chosen of Balin? Wasn't it like Champion of Dwarlin we've lost? But you know what we should do? I actually want to get rid of this. I'm going to make a new accolade. Bomber. He's a contender. Do you buff? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what are you buffing? Nothing much. Okay. <laughs> what are you buffing? Uh, skirmishers. Okay, that's good. We still have this one. You need a successor, actually. So let's let's sort that out now. Witzer can, can sir. So let's go all the way down. He only has 12 prowess. Uh, but it's enough to be our acclaimed knight. So let's do that. And now let's make another accolade. Ingilda. A besieger. Oh, that could be strong. Yes. Let's create this. And we're going to call this. So we have the chosen of Balin. And now we have the chosen of Sigur. But two most influential dwarfs in the recent history of Khazad Doom. Let us go ahead and do that. It is an elf serving, um, which is interesting. And Hannah can serve as a successor. Right. What is it with 12 prowess dwarfs being our best acclaimed knights? I'm not quite sure, but he's serving anyway. Uh, I can negotiate an alliance with my uncle. Do I want that? Because that might interrupt any revoking things we want. Do you know what, Uncle? I'll take the alliance. Durins need to stick together. Titles can be created, but no empire titles. That's fine. And disabled buildings. So we have 2,000 gold. Let's go over to the great mines. Number one. Start getting that development up to 100. I want it, and I want it all. How do I upgrade this? I need to upgrade this uh, to the furthest depths, which is this. Let's get the upgrade flowing. I also need to give away some of this. I'm going to keep the mines. Let us keep the mines. I'm going to give away some more land to you. Do you want this title here? Yes, you do. And now that's your, your domain limit. That's fine. We also have some land over here. Right. Are you at your cap? You're not. So I'm going to give you this and this. There we go. Now you're at your limit. I just got to be careful not to give away the mines, guys. Uh, I need to give away Sigundoom as well. It's actually making us a lot of gold, Phil. A lot of gold. I might keep that. So let's give away... I mean, West Hall is giving us prestige. So let's give away Central Halls. I don't mind giving this up. Uh, to my, my brother here. You can have the central halls. As long as the Durins keep this stuff. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. And I still need to give away two bloody more. Wow. Okay. Let's give away... Man, I don't want to give away Sigin Doom. Are you already at your cap? No. So I'm going to give you... The Hall of a Thousand Pillars, maybe? Yes. 
I mean, we don't need all this prestige vault. In fact, in order to keep your stuff together, I'm going to give you the West Hall and also the Endless Stair. So, like, you have all of this southwestern part here. It uh, just keeps things organized. And then I have the rest and then I have these two as well. Because I want the mines for myself. Right, that should earn us a lot of gold. I can station men at arms. Let's go ahead and station these. We're going to have to work on, on optimization for this later. But for now, they're, they're all getting buffed, so that's fine. Um, I, I have one unit of mangonels. That's probably why it was taking me so long to siege. Right, we're already 10 bloody minutes in. Uh, and we have an unpause. But we're selling ourselves up for greatness. We're improving the mines and whatnot. We still have a lot of colonization to go, don't we? I still need to colonize one at a bloody time. The good news is I can declare war on these fellas. Bad news is that's for submission. Um, if I want to take this, I can't march here. There are goblins here as well. How do I? Uh, so if I go in here, no, 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 not there. This one, you bloody fool. I think it's a dwarven expedition. And to found a satellite hold no oh no there's a crossing i'm blind we can cross into here and here okay so i mean well then what's the the forgotten bastion if we found it up here they're going to be surrounded by by orcs so i could found a satellite down here in the ebon gorge for example the problem is i have to walk there I mean, let's get a caravan master to 65 speed. Bloody hell. Thank you very much. Uh, let's get mercenary guards and a mountaineer. There we go. That That's very safe. So what does this do? An additional building is constructed. Well, what if I max that? Constructed buildings will have increased levels. And what's this? Filled court positions and adventurous courtiers join. All courtiers join. I mean, we, we, we don't need the party, right? 750 gold. Hmm. Do we need to start it with buildings? 272. 277. So let's see. Might have a building. So is that a colony? Or a delving? Let us test that. If this starts as a delving, that's really good value. If it starts as a colony, not so much. 750 gold. I mean, they're going to earn their own gold. They can work it up. Right, let's do this. We're going to we're gonna knock it down. 277 gold. We're going to go on an expedition and found our first satellite hold. Now we can take a look at the other mechanics. I'm hyped. While the new expedition will pay tribute to its parent hold, the distances involved make any form of direct rule unfeasible. To this end, I have been presented with a list of candidates that could be trusted to oversee the fledgling colony. I uh, saw they all just send Buri to administer the land. So my courtier, Buri, he is a good stewardship character. He is going to set up this new satellite for us. Let us unpause and start the journey south for the Misty Mountains. There are some goblins here that we're going to have to pass through their lands. Hopefully I can ally with them in case the goblins fight them. An imposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. I am Melango of Durin's Hall. No, you're not. You're not even a dwarf. I have no interest in you or a theft. Get out of here. Mocking us dwarfs. <laughs> the procession has ground to a halt. A stone throws away from Zirin Cook. I look over to see my courtier Olias dismounted and intently staring at something on the ground. The other entourage members have gathered around him. Olias looks up as I approach. My lord. There is an ant path here. I may be a tad superstitious, but you should never cross an ant path. My great grandmother did, and he, he never returned home. <laughs> fine. We'll find another path. We'll become friends. By the way, guys, we still have the threat of Mordor, and my game just crashed. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> takes a little bit to load. Hopefully, we don't crash again. I am on Iron Man mode, so. Fingers crossed that this isn't a save ending crash. This is usually why I don't play on Iron Man. Just in case of things like this. Right. The satellite has been founded. And we didn't get a crash. So I'm thinking that it might be a one-off. 
just in case for i might avoid this feature in future the last thing i want now after killing the balrog is getting locked down on my safe oh dude i got scared i've noticed that gamil hager avoids me more than usual he always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast do you know what ah i don't really care i don't really care we just set up a new dwarf stronghold in the south and i think it's time to return and celebrate its new founding uh, let's see. So we go down here. Is it a, a delving? It's a delving. And they started with a tavern. Can I get an alliance with you lads? They are my tributary. So what does this mean? I, I need to work out what a tributary is exactly. Um, It, it probably would have told me, right? If I hovered here. Let's see. Um, release tributary. Oh, it doesn't tell me what. Aha. It's here. There's a foreign tab. You guys uh, told me of this. Right. So they are my tributary. I mean, they're paying me taxes. But does that mean I have a responsibility to, to defend them? I kind of hope it does. Where are some dwarfs? Oh, you're not dwarfs. You're not dwarfs. No, these are all goblins, obviously. See, there's no dwarfs that aren't kingdoms at the moment. So I can't even off of them to serve under me and i guess it wouldn't make sense here a protector is is very different i'm hoping we can defend them i'm hoping isengard is back and it is ruled by petty king herbert <laughs> and he is protected by the dune land <laughs> interesting stuff okay so we have we have settled that we're not going to do any more i think we're just going to stick to normal colonization how do i get the misty mountains so if we go to this it's just your pile of the misty mountains i need 80 percent of the counties which is 59 currently we only have 23 and we need another kingdom title so um kingdom titles i guess we have kaza doom I guess the high pass is next. Yes, it is. So let's colonize our way over here. I mean, we, we won't need to. Can my other vassals not colonize? Maybe not. I need to fabricate a claim here then. You're converting the faith. Let's let him finish converting the faith. And then we're going to fabricate claims. And we need to get the, the high pass. We're also going to get closer to, to Gundabad then. And um, we're going to fight more. Isn't this the Goblin King up here as well? I think so. So we're going to have to deal with him as well. Luckily, Elrond is right here, so it shouldn't be too hard. My hook on Egg will soon expire. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that, though, except for in prison. Am I married? Not yet, but that's because I'm 69. Soon we will marry. When do I turn 70? In one month. Very nice. We have constructed the furthest depth. So let's go back to the great mines. We can now upgrade the mithril mines. That's going to give us more taxes. 1,200 gold. Bloody hell. It's worth it, though. It's definitely worth it. It's going to bring us a lot of money. Also, once we're done with the learning tree, I'm going to go down the crafting tree. Don't worry, guys. We are going to mine. We are going to craft. We're going to become rich. And first, we're going to marry. Um, Let's see. So... I don't have any inheritable traits, unfortunately. We do have inheritable traits, although they are very young. You're Hale. You're Comely. You only have two traits. Uh, and you're Fecund, which I don't think would change much for us. So let's see. I don't like lazy, deceitful, or arrogant. You're gluttonous, greedy, and wrathful. You don't like temperate so that's fine so qualitara qu qu <laughs> oh it sounds like i was quacking like a duck then uh is possible you're deceitful so you're you're out you're ambitious just and vengeful we don't like vengeful right no 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 we're fine with vengeful okay but you're fecund so i think i'm gonna marry qualitara her stats aren't that good though at least you have some stewardship Hmm. Fecund. Or hail. It's a shame that we lost the, the Herculean trait from my brother. But he did slay the Balrog. And that is more important in the grand scheme of things. I think I'm going to marry Anna. 
for the 15 stewardship. Let us send off the proposals and get ourselves a new wife. Do the benign doing? I, Anna, gladly accept your hand in marriage. And we find strength and support in our union, my benevolent husband. Excellent news. Let us start for seductions at once. <laughs> Uh, we can seduce her and try and become lovers. There we go. Am I going to collect the tax? Of course I am. 385 gold. Foran is going on a mining expedition. I could join this. And we would make it in time. Uh, for once. So let's go on a mining expedition. I think we just gain prestige for this. And lose a bit of stress. But, but it's worth it. Let's not eat this garbage food we've come across as well. Journeying through Sigundum, I passed by a peculiar looking cave splayed open with it yet its more peculiar looking occupant inside. How about you come and experience the future with me, lad? Join my court. Come on our great expedition and visit Durin's Hall with me. I have another learning perk. Very nice. It has been a long and arduous journey, but we have finally made it. We lost our way once or twice to old maps, not accounting for rock slides and other shifts in terrain. But nothing we could not handle. It's off to work we go. Let's get a learning perk. Mental resilience. Time between mental breaks plus three years. We don't really need that right now. Um, I'm going to learn how to wash my hands. How about that? I think that sounds lovely. We are still stressed. Well, I don't have anything. I can work off some stress. Okay, let's let's put that on cooldown. Old mystical communion. Ah, let's put that on cooldown as well. Yes. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, also, yes, restore Durin's Hall we need to work on. So I need the Misty Mountains. This is a long-term goal. I forgot about this, but we will be restoring Durin's Throne. Um, that's part of getting the Misty Mountains, of course. So success chance decreases. Oh, this is good. I'll be able to lead my party back to this chamber. There we go, because I have good learning. That's a good thing that I came along. I gained 200 gold. Oh... I want to come on more of these expeditions, especially now the Balrog is gone. <laughs> oh, it's bloody amazing. Let's see. Um, I lose 50 gold, but there's a 75% chance I actually gain 80. I think it's not worth the risk, though. Let's not do anything stupid whilst we're here. Let's just keep things simple. Hopefully, we get a little bit more money, prestige, and whatnot. Um, also... We just finished building the pumps in the Great Mines, and my wife is already uh, pregnant. So let's see. The, the Great Mines over here has been leveled up. 1,500. I now need stabilizations. To get stabilizations, I need workshops. We can get workshops. So let's do that. I'm going to keep on upgrading this. This is probably buffing our men at arms by an insane amount as well at this point which is crazy i have uh greatly increased my minor experience oh that's how i got the minor trick because i must have went on an expedition before i took over okay so we finished the expedition let's make our way back to durin's hall we're spending our gold to make more gold we're not even got any stewardship perks you finish converting faith can you do it more before we start fabricating claims why, why is why is this different? You are a part of my faith, right? Okay. I need to fix... Oh, we need to colonize Mirror Mirror as well. I did say I would do that. So let's do that now. Let's convert the faith back. 16 years. Okay. I changed my mind. Let's fabricate the claim on the Bleeding Ravine. We're going to take this back. In fact, it might be better to do this one first. It's closer. Let's do that. And then we can colonize this and connect them. I think that's important. I'm also going to colonize Miramir. But Dimril Dale. Let's do that. I think this is an important one. So we do have Miramir, which is a holy site. And part of our kingdom. If we take a look. So that's important. Uh, yes. Do we also take this? Oh, no, we can't actually... Oh, no, we can. Caradress Pass. I'm going to colonize this as well, because I do think it's part of our kingdom title. Yes, it is. Right. And I want all of this. Okay. So we now have Miramir, but I'm over my... Oh, no, over my domain, because it's a colony. So let's see. Wild Wolves. We we need to get rid of the Wild Wolves. And we now have this. Kaled Zaram. 
In the common term, Miramir was a deep, dark lake located in the Dimril Dale. Less than a mile below the east gate of khazad -dûm. the lake was long and oval with a shape like a great spearhead. The deep water of Miramir was dark, blue like a clear evening sky from her lamplit room, and had a still surface. Close to the southern end of the lake stood a column inscribed with runes of a broken top which was called Durin Stone. This stone was erected by Durin, built on the spot where he gazed into the lake and saw a vision of stars set in a crown above his head. A short distance below the lake, was a spring with clear ice cold water that was the source of celebrant we once again have this great holding i will probably hold on to this as for the pass here uh this is a colony we can upgrade it like we have the gold so let's upgrade it before we give it off to someone i think makes a lot of sense okay i just lost a, a crap ton of stewardship as well uh bloody hell i have a wife now though right Let's put on manage domain. So we're only one over now, which is good. I can hold a mystical communion. Let's begin that. Uh, and I can also work off some stress. So let's do that as well. There we go. We can start getting our stress down and hopefully not be uh, having a mental break in a few years. To my woefully misguided brother, your strange practices are not sanctioned by the wardens and some must take you to task for it. If I do not do it now, the Mahal will. Oh... Oh, he doesn't want me to do this. Of course. What was I thinking, my brother? My uncle. I will not continue with my, my mystical communion. They don't like it, apparently. It's not true to Mahal. So we will abandon this. Anyone could buy a token affection, big or small. If I want to impress my wife, I should send her something truly special. No, 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 it's fine. She already likes me. Right. I think we should... Learn the language of the Elseville. So let's do that. We have a long history. They did help slay the Balrog. So I want to make sure we have good relations there. We built the workshop in the Great Mines. So I need to upgrade this now. But that's 660 gold. We should get that in a couple months time. So that's fine. And I have had a new son. It just felt like a long time since we had a child. But we have had one. Blood Beast, thank you for the name suggestion. You have gone for Durin. And you have gone for Marshall as well. And I'll tell you what, Tom Rook, I see that you also requested Durin and Marshall straight after. So both of you are free to request a new name. I'm feeling friendly today. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and pin him. And then uh, let's pick Marshall Education Focus. I should probably educate him because he get bonus perk, but I don't have very good Marshall. In fact, we don't have very good Marshall characters in general. 23... We'll find someone to educate him. Let's do that now. Okay, let's go all... We'll go inside diplomatic range. And I I think elves and dwarves will both be fine. So let's go sort by this. Uh, and we need someone who's unlanded. Not a, an orc, please. I'll be happy with an elf or a dwarf. 36 martial. 14 learning. She wouldn't join my court though. In fact, it might have to be a dwarf. It might have to be a dwarf. So let's sort by this. My marshal. Do you, you don't... Why can't you... Oh, you can educate my son, right. Somehow I missed that. Okay, don't don't mind me, guys. The, the Balrog's gone, but... I think it's still having some lasting effects on my mind. <laughs> we have a marshal to educate the lad. And there we go. Durin has set out... To my marshal's realm to be educated. That's fine. We could go on another mining expedition. I mean, we'll we, we, we join it anyway. I won't read it all out though. My scheme has been frozen. I, ah, yeah, yeah, personal schemes. Okay. It had the dagger, so I thought, uh, yeah. Speaking of daggers, I'm trying to get some emojis done. And I think Holdall should be the theme. And I want Holdall holding a dagger. Like in the, uh, like in the martial pose. I also wanted Hodor holding a door, but I thought that might be too far. I've noticed that Vrunkali avoids me more than usual. She always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast. And consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationship, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Do you know what? I am fed up of this. If you don't like my company. Or the company of my dwarfs. Then leave. We do not have space for the likes of those who look down upon us. Uh, what's this? Um, do you know, I'm not going to get involved in this. 
It's fine. And we have arrived at the expedition. Success chances increases. Do I have enough gold for the great mines now? Ah, no, I have 660. I need two more. Soon. Ah, it was about to tick over. And then we got this. Soon. Wait, one got... There we go. Right, let's upgrade this. It's going to take 12 months. It's going to take a long bloody time to upgrade this. Well, 1,300 gold we need. But guys, you got to spend gold to make gold. <laughs> oh, how the... How the mood has shifted since the power of die. <laughs> it's bloody insane. I pay 110 gold. No. For a lucky pickaxe. It's fine. I have other uses for my gold. Thank you very much. I don't know why this plague icon has, has been here the whole time. But but we, we deal with it. It's fine. I lose 25 gold. Or I could challenge him and lose nothing. There we go. Beautiful stuff. 20.5 gold a month. Again, we don't have any steward perks. That's quite insane. I might actually go down the stewardship tree before I go into the crafting tree. Because then we get more gold and then we can craft more. I think that makes sense. Oh, 220 gold. If I get plundered dwarven bodies, dwarf opinion minus 30 for five years. No, we can't do that. Let us lay our lost brothers to rest. I cannot disrespect... The fallen dwarfs of khazad -Dum, like that. I have greatly increased my mining trait experience. And we do have a claim. Right, let's let's fabricate this. Also, we should probably fabricate this as well. Oh, this one. There we go. That's going to take three years. That's quite a while, wasn't it? It's fine. So where's my miner trait? Here. So we're trying to level up Prospector, which does give us stewardship. Very nice. I would take all the stewardship I can get. Uh, and there we go. We finished the mining expedition. We didn't find any gold that time. But at least we gained some prestige and whatnot. I take that back. We found 110 gold, lads. <laughs> and I feel accomplished. We have learned the language of Sindarin. And now we can communicate with the elves once more. I mean, we could anyway, but now we can speak in their mother tongue. A great achievement for sure. So we're fabricating claims here. We're saving up 1,200 gold or whatever it was for the great mines. Do you know what would be better though? It's probably leveling up the mines um, equally. It's more money efficient. So I need cave surveys. Which means I need excavation pits. So let's start getting work on that. If we upgrade both mines at the same time, all is good. Another learning perk. No, that's training for a tournament. I mean, I'll do that as well. We've become strong in game prowess. Beautiful stuff. Let's see. Iron constitution, disease resistance, plus 30%. Oh, fertility plus 30%. And health gets a massive boost. Yes, please. Oh, more a grand tournament. We have two grand tournaments being held. So we have one over here. That's not the one. So Zibdin Kaffers the second grand tournament. Where where are you? Oh, you're over in the west. Right. And so is the other grand tournament in the north? No. Zibdin Science Grand Tournament. That one is down in the There are dwarfs down here? What? Why are the long bids down in the West Marches? Wait, why do you own so much land down in the West Marches? That's what I want to know. Want to become my vassal? No. <laughs> okay, I don't feel comfortable going down here. Mordor is too close. But I will visit my dwarven and my dwarven relatives. I mean, we're all related eventually, right? If you go back far enough. My dwarven friends of House Uri. In the west. Let us attend their grand tournaments. Make friends, hopefully. So that's uh, this one. Yes. Oh, we're not going to arrive in time. Never mind. That's one of the problems about playing on five times speed. But I mean, it, it's fine. It's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Imagine we've already done 16 episodes, which is like 16 hours. Imagine if I was on four times speed. It would have taken so much longer. The long beard Harasu Kuzru populists have risen against me. 
They still believe in the Balrog. Bloody fools. It's fine. Sometimes the best response to idiots is saying nothing at all. Fascination discovered. We have now discovered court officials. So what's that giving me? Plus 3% domain taxes. Very nice. So what do I want to get next? Development growth plus 10%. That sounds huge. Let's get that. It's only going to take us 12 years as well. How is the development in the Great Mines? It's already up to 15. Oh, oh. the worthless witch Ron Carly makes my blood boil. Didn't we get rid of her? Why is she still in Casa Doom? She has become my rival. And there are peasants over here, but that's fine because dwarfs, they can deal with peasants easily. And it's not going to contribute to the Balrog. 200 gold. I don't think we're going to spend. And my wife has become my lover. Right. I'm going to get to romance in her. Hopefully we can become soulmates as well. And we can have more children. We do have one son. Prince Durin of Khazad Doom. He's looking good. But I need more children. Hopefully more sons. There we go. The wife is pregnant. She agreed with me. I can restore accolade. Wait, but I have accolades. So we don't need to do that. Let's ignore that. I am attending a dance in Durin's Hall to spend some time with my wife, Anna. The more thought of touching hands makes my heart jump. But when I arrive, I find her stuck in a conversation with my vassal, Dropnir. My charm and kindness will improve any conversation. I will sway her back to my side. Very easily. What's this? We have an event over here. Um, Let's see. Enough of this blasphemy. Get out of here. I killed him. <laughs> oh, another event. I just got rid of the last one. Sure, I can't wait. <laughs> I don't read the Royal Court events just because I've read them so many times now. Well, uh, I, I, I get a little bit bored of the Royal Court stuff. I'm looking forward to the revamp that the devs said they're going to do. Oh, 255 gold. Very nice. Sweet Lady Anna, I sigh as I kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Anna gives me a long look. A necklace. No, I'll compliment your taste, but I'm not going to spend gold on that. And we have received an axe. Let us repurpose it. We already have Durin's axe, so we don't quite need this one. Once this fabrication has gone through... Wait, why are we not fabricating? You bloody fool. You bloody fool. I bet you guys have already typed in the comments about that. I've had a daughter. She is fecund. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> who's the who's won the raffle to name this one? It's not really a raffle because it's first come, first serve. Shinsen Shogun. You have requested the name Harwin. So you are free to suggest another name. You've also gone with the crafting lifestyle, which isn't possible. So let's go stewardship because crafting does have a stewardship buff when you pick one of the three focuses. So we'll do that. And then let's go ahead and get her a good guardian as well. I do think I have a really good steward. I'm a good steward. And look at my learning as well. I will educate Harwin. Welcome to the halls of Moria. I'm very happy that my children will never have to know the calamity and the stresses that the Balrog brought. Bandit County has been constructed in Miramir. Wait. Yeah, here. Why? Why? Okay, I need to, to, to clear this. I was a bit slow on this. Don't we have something else as well? Ah, Caradras Pass. It's right there. Yes, we're improving this. Right, okay. It's all good. I remember what I'm doing. I've received troubling reports from my settlement in Dimrodale. The revenues from the province have shown a slow but consistent decline. This is why we just got this stuff, wasn't it? Remove her from governor. Let's get someone who can actually manage the realm here. Uh, by Manwa, Queen Anna is an insufferable bampet. Have you seen how she crosses her arms? Ridiculous. Oh. I will not have an elf. This my wife, the queen of Khazad-dûm. 
This cannot be passed. These are vile laws, lies. And Ingildo, you must draw your sword. I am defeated. I've been made to look a fool by the elf. I'm no longer wounded, but guys, I, I can't have this. I cannot have this. Get out of my court. I will not have elves insult my wife and other dwarfs in front of me. Dismissed courtier? I don't care. Okay, Accolade uh, needs a successor now. I think it's the Chosen of Sigur. Ethelstan? <laughs> There's no way you're a dwarf. Ethelstan. Uh, from the distant realm of Britannia, Ethelstan the dwarf has journeyed for many a long day. What am I looking for here? My guest. Yeah, he's not He's not a dwarf. Okay. Uh, he kind of looked like it. He's short and wide. You're not a dwarf either. Do you know what, Ethelstan? I, I, I'm going to recruit you just because uh, I thought it was funny. For a moment, I thought we had a dwarf called Ethelstan. Uh, 15 press. Right, let's go ahead and force you to, to serve. Should be somewhere down here. You can be successor to this. He's probably going to die though soon. Because I guess he doesn't have the, the dwarven uh, blood. Right, uh, what's this? And now it's fine. I'm going to focus on my own training. We lose some stress again. We're almost back down to stress level zero, which would be nice. The great mines are still improving development. It's up to 16, which has given us 8% extra taxes. There is no end to the opinions on what my son and heir doing. Half of the time, he is trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. So he has become bossy, which means he favors martial and stewardship. And you guys did pick martial. Having stewardship as a secondary is going to be very nice as well. Very nice and very rich, hopefully. Every time I close my eyes, I see my wife's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to the garden outside of her living quarters. The sight of Anna's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close and yet so far. But wait, who is that? Climbing up the tower. A shady figure stops by Anna's window and unlatches the shutters. <gasps> She's in danger. I must save her immediately. And she has become my soulmate. This makes me very happy. Uh, we could befriend the else. We don't need it as much now though, right? So let's see. I need to upgrade this, I think. Yes. So let's upgrade this. That's 275 gold. The wife is pregnant once more as well. The fabrication is coming along. We're gonna fight the Goblin King as well. All of this will be coming very soon. Especially once this is fabricated. Because at least then we don't have to colonize it, which costs gold. Can I give colonies to vassals? That would be beneficial. Hmm. They wouldn't be very strong, though. At least if I give them a Delvin, they can build up. That's the problem. Uh, the peasants are rising again. Caradras Pass has finished constructing its thing. So let's upgrade this as well. The problem is upgrading these to Delvings is going to cost me so much money. But I am the richest. So maybe I should do that. Another learning perk. Let's get restraint. You can take the embrace celibacy. I mean, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> but I'll take it. Order has been restored in Dimriel Dale. Right. Let's get rid of the, the bears as well. And then we still need to... Wait. Oh... Oh, I can choose. I should probably turn it into a temple if it's our holy site. I mean, it would be nice to have a castle here, but I think a temple is uh, better. Right, you fabricate the claim. Wonderful news. And I have had another daughter who is also Fecund. Let's pull up the list. Uh, right, we've already done that one. J-M-N-U-Y, Jiminy. <laughs> you have requested the name Zirak. Zaram, you've given me a special little triangle there. So let's let's copy and paste that. There we go. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. You've also decided to go with crafting. So I'm going to do the same. Let's put her on stewardship. Um, I'll pin her as well. And then let's educate her myself. Because I, I, I've got good learning. And I've got a little bit of stewardship as well, which should help. 31 strip. 49 learning, guys. 
That's insane. That's why we're getting cultural fascinations so fast. We might even complete them all by the end of this character. Mordor, we will defeat them with time as well. But first, I want to restore the Misty Mountains before we think about Mordor. There's a priority list here. And I'm going to stick to it. Right, we, we fabricated the claim. So let's start fabricating on the, the bloody Goblin King then, shall we? We need to get rid of him as well. That's going to take 15 months. Not too bad. Do you have allies? Yes. But they're all the way up here. I don't think these guys are that strong. 11,000. Wow. Holy crap. Can I get an alliance with Erebor? No. Oh, wow. You don't have any children yet either, do you? No. That's unfortunate. What about the, the dwarves in the west? It's nice. You have a 13-year-old son. 30-year-old. I'm thinking... Getting some alliances with the other dwarven realms is probably going to be very valuable. These guys have 7,000 dwarfs. Oh, they have some unique dwarfs even. Ooh. Oh, we're going to have to do multiple dwarven playthroughs, by the way, guys. <laughs> you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Um, Let's see. So I would love to propose a marriage between Prince Siphoner of Clan Uri with my daughter princess harwin of clan durin it won't be matrilineal they, they would accept matrilineal but i mean the durins are, are one of the mightiest houses right so maybe matrilineal makes sense the only problem is then the durins would have these in the west and it would be the wrong culture and then menatons might die I, I don't think matrilineal. Let's let's respect their house. I don't want to see the Uris uh, disappear. So I'm going to send the proposal. It's going to be a regular wedding. And we do get the alliance, which we will call them into war, the goblins as well. We might not need them, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right. Captain Hooker, the lecture of House Ashmont. Oh, he's an orc. He's not a goblin. Even Bella. Get out of the Misty Mountains. You are not welcome here. Right, we do have enough supply there. So let's go ahead and move this one a little bit closer. What about here? Oh, we have enough, uh, enough supply there. Let's move it all the way closer. They have to come through this path. So raise the dwarfs and get our best commanders. Our best commanders are already fighting. Oh, why? Why? I, I don't understand. Oh, no, they're probably on this expedition. Ah. I kind of want this expedition to end the end so I can get a better commander before we, we march in here. Also, uh, we can still train the commanders. It's fine. We're, we're, we're in profit. Things have changed a lot. Look at this. 1,500 archers, 1,000 skirmishers. Siege weapons uh, we need to work on. Court traits are being gained. Can you finish your bloody expedition? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I said it louder. Oh, they're still traveling. I want Alwis the Brave to lead this army. He's so bloody good. There he is. Right. Um, where's our allies? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere because you haven't bloody called them in, you idiot. Oh, I can call on my house member. Right, let's call on Erebor instead of our new allies. It's fine. I think this is a fight for the Durins. We will kick out the orcs and the goblins in the Misty Mountains. I think I can attack them. I, I, I don't think um, they are a challenge for us. Even though they have 11,000, dwarfs are very strong. Yeah, look at this. We're going to absolutely destroy them. This is going to be a great slaughter. It's late and I'm tucking into a gripping treatise on classical grammar. Just as I start giggling at some delightfully snide marginalia left by the previous reader, my wife enters the room. Let's see. Alluring confidence. Fertility is up. Ah, uh, sure. Let's uh, flirt a bit with the wife. Okay, this has increased, but look at the slaughter. 
Oh, it's beautiful. We lost 300 dwarfs and killed 5,000 orcs. <laughs> right, let's besiege this down. It's going to take eight months. Yes. Okay. One thing I'm going to buy is siege equipment. Let's get rid of the mangonels after this war and replace them with siege engines. We have siege engines, so we need to upgrade them. Spend the gold. It's going to be worth it in the long run. And we're going to need it to fight Mordor, I think. Fast sieges are going to be vital. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. Uh, wife, stay with me. Let us get comfy with one another. Where, Where's the dwarves of Erebor? There they are. Oh, they're coming in from the north as well. We're going to trap them off. White peace. I, I, are you... Get out of here. Ooh. To the modest doing. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case with you on the rightful lord of the borough of Goblin Town. Seeing as Argog unfortunately insists on being fat. <laughs> a fat cultist. I could even argue that you have a claim to the kingdom of Goblin Town. Yes. All of Goblin Town will be mine. I hope that gets renamed. And the wife is pregnant. So the fertility bonuses with Fika have actually allowed us to have an extra child here. Which is very nice. I wonder if we can have more than four. I hope so. That would be nice. Uh, Erebor have arrived. The other Durins. Let us go ahead and siege this down. I should probably start fabricating some more claims ahead of time. These guys are going to be strong, aren't they? Yes. But we do have Erebor to join us. I think... We start fabricating here as well. We need to get rid of them. We need to get rid of them. 15 months. That's fine. And then we can retry until we get the duchy claim. And we can take him out in one war. I think that's the way. But last time I saw Elias, he was superstitiously getting rid of my yellow hat. Because yellow is an unlucky color. Oh, this is bloody nonsense. Stop this madness. The bears have been subdued in Miramir. Right. Let us... Oh, okay, okay. Let us start... Why, why can't I feudalize this? Uh, because I haven't fully upgraded this. Right. Okay, let's fully upgrade this then. Let's get on that. Kadaras Pass, you're still you're still doing this stuff. Okay, and we're about to siege this. Uh, and we just got this. How do I make money? Please. Oh, we made 100 gold. That was maybe a bit of a risk, but I took it. The hustle and bustle is palpable among the traveling merchant stores. The temporary shacks are stacked to the rafters. And contain all manner of knickknacks. These pieces are positively radiant and will make a lovely gift. As Queen Anna and I walk by one of the merchants peddling jewelry, she hesitates slightly. She leans in for a closer look. Perhaps one of these would brighten the day for my lovely son. Wait, no, I need the gold, my love. I can't afford to spare it. We need, we need claims. I need to upgrade the mines. We need to colonize stuff. And I need to work off stress. Let's do that. Right, we're no longer overwhelmed now. So that's good. That's very good. And we have unlocked another dynasty legacy. So, I think we should go for this. Warfare, generational belligerence. We get pursuit efficiency. Retreat losses is down. And castle spellies are cheaper. But time to war the orcs. And the goblins has come. And soon, we will war with Mordor as well. My vassal, Isbad Witter, uh, known for his interest in venery, brings rumor of beasts spotted in my realm. Interesting. We're not going to go on a hunt, though. I have I have other priorities. And we have had another daughter. Guys, I'm actually running out of daughter names. This is the last daughter name I have on my list. So <laughs> if you haven't requested a name yet or don't have one on the list, request a few daughter names because I have plenty of son names. Uh, you have gone with Anika or Annika. Thank you for the name suggestion. Kali or Braga. Uh, may you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. And you have gone with stewardship. Now, unfortunately, I can't have another wart. But let's go with Barthalian for now. He's a bit of a lunatic. But our educator, once Harwin comes of age, I have to remember that. Hopefully, I remember that. Uh, let's see. Eight months left on the siege. The Durins from Erebor have now arrived as well. I think their armies are wiped out, the, the orcs here. And I have unlocked another learning perk. Know thyself. When death of natural course is one year away, you'll receive a warning. Okay. Um, we just want to get hold of body, really. 
and then we're gonna swap what's this oh my daughter took her first steps i am very proud we're gonna gain prestige so we can improve our culture as well she's also said her first words things are progressing nicely at this point what's this sure i gain piety we don't really have much to spend our piety on though because i don't want to reform the faith and we have won the war against the orcs uh the mines of caradras um thank you a poem that will sell for uh, a nice tidy sum of gold right let's enforce the demands i got instructed distracted to be up here in Uzbad doing. May your humus rot in your living body. You are much greater fool than I imagined. In order to pull an end to its bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Get out of here. The orcs have fled. The culture has changed to Morian bids. And the faith has changed to Kazad. We get Moroccan orc drags for 25 years. Wow. Holy moly. Um, but it has become part of our territory at least, which is nice. Right. I'm going. Oh, we get all of this. Oh, but it's for orcs. Oh, no. Wait, so I have a feeling. Will the AI be smart enough to change this over? That's a good point. Uh, we need someone with good stewardship. My chancellor. You have gained the right to receive some lands of your own. So I'm going to give you this. Do you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm also going to give you the... Not the duchy, because I don't have it. <laughs> I like how the duchy title of uh, Balin's Expedition doesn't get destroyed either. I'm glad that we still have that right. Uh, we can declare war on the goblin king however we have reached one hour recording the video might be a little bit shorter thanks to the crash and the loading times but guys things are progressing we're gonna fight the goblin king in the next episode maybe we're gonna fight good old erifica the hideous it does seem that oh we've gone through loads who starts here no, I've gone back too far. Uh, yeah, yeah, Azog. The Defiler. D didn't he die before the game started, though? No, he didn't. But it doesn't matter who is in Mount Kundabat. We will slay them all. And we will take back the Misty Mountains. But guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching, as always. I shall see you next time. <laughs>